Yeah, I'm heading uh, the supercomputing department at the SUSE Institute, and I welcome everybody here on the video conference call uh, for joining us uh, in the uh, Intel One API workshop, uh, which uh, includes contributions. Uh, uh, most of them are from uh, from the Intel uh, team, uh, then from the KAT, the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, and last but not least from uh, from the SUSE Institute. Uh, before we dive in into the workshop, some some technical notes I want to make. Um, so we use the Zoom uh, video conferencing system and. If you are not, not yet familiar, please make uh, yourself familiar with the client or the browser interface. Um, the most important uh, technical thing I want to say is that uh, at the end of each uh, presentation, we make a, a survey poll and I kindly ask you uh, to um, make, uh, make your decisions. How would you like uh, the the presentation. Uh, the second uh, aspect is that uh, if you have questions, uh, you have two possibilities. Either you can use the chat tool. Uh, if you browse uh, in your client or browser, you find that uh, at uh, the top or uh, the bottom, uh, depending on, on your client version. Um, so, uh, um, uh, our team is watching the chat and uh, we ask and the presenters uh, the questions and comments you uh, told us uh, via the chat. Second is you can unmute your mic and uh, ask your questions verbally and uh, then let's see how, how that works. Uh, in the meantime, I would ask you to mute your mic so that we uh, prevent uh, unnecessary noise on, on that channel. So then then let's start. Um, a few notes uh, why we are hosting this workshop uh, and what the SUSE Institute is. Uh, so ZIB in short is an interdisciplinary research institute for uh, applied mathematics and uh, high performance computing. And uh, at the institute there are algorithmic developments in the areas of modeling, simulation and uh, mathematical optimization. On the HPC side, uh, we are one of uh, eight so-called NHR HPC centers in Germany. That's all uh, the tier two level of HPC in the academic world in uh, Germany. Our current uh, current system, Lisa, uh, after uh, Lisa Meitner, is at the uh, 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 position uh, 55 in the top 500 list. So uh, it has uh, roughly eight petaflops of peak performance, uh, 120 Intel Cascade Lake AP cores and uh, half a petabyte distributed memory and uh, 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 a petabyte uh, online storage. And uh, we have to serve uh, many scientific disciplines uh, and we focus in, uh, ourselves in the future of, of some of these uh, hot science disciplines like life science, chemistry, earth science, engineering, and, and more. And the point uh, in, for this workshop is that uh, we believe uh, the future is much more heterogeneous. So we have to solve the challenge uh, to bring codes on multiple devices like uh, GPUs, uh, uh, FPGAs uh, for configurable computing and uh, many more. Uh, for today, we have uh, uh, in the morning session uh, uh, the following agenda. So uh, Edmund Price from Intel will start with the introduction into uh, one API. Uh, Michael Steyer from Intel will give you an introduction how to use resources on the Intel Dev Cloud. And after the short bio break, uh, Iga Wropsov uh, gives you uh, the first glance of the DPC++ uh, programming with the One API compilers. And with that, I would hand over to Edmund Price. Okay. Um, yeah. 
thanks for <clears throat> opening the slides. Um, for those of you who don't already know me, and I think a few of you do, uh, I am uh, located in Germany, uh, actually in Munich. I'm one of the local uh, software uh, business development managers here. And uh, <clears throat> um, I'm happy that uh, we have, that you are joining the opportunity for this virtual uh, one API uh, workshop. Um, so let's move on to the next slide. I want to say a couple of introductory uh, words about the goals and the objectives. Um, and um, there may be also some stuff about the logistics uh, on the next slide. But for the moment, let me talk about the goals and objectives, which were also part of the invitation. Um, <clears throat> what uh, I hope you will get out of it, and also Intel uh, hopefully will get out of it, is uh, to increase the community of people who are fluent on um, Intel One API, on the concept, on the standardiz standardization initiative, but also the Intel uh, One API products, uh, which are called the Intel One API toolkits. Um, third, but definitely not least, I'm um, definitely also interested that you understand for most of you who are using Parallel Studio, so the existing software development environment, how to move it from Parrot Studio to, to Intel One API. Um, we're not spending a lot of time on it, but just like to mention, this is uh, an, an easy transition. Uh, all the components of Parrot Studio XE uh, are part of the One API toolkits. So you're not losing anything by moving from Parrot Studio XE to the new One API toolkits. Uh, with the additional functions, uh, as Thomas Steinke just said, um, one API supports heterogeneous environments. Um, and of course, uh, and that's the last bullet here on this slide, uh, I would be very interested if some of you, like CIB or KIT and a few others, who have started doing um, porting their applications to one API, so using one, the One API toolkits for their own applications. I would be delighted if uh, one or the other person would be interested to do the same. And Intel is more than happy to help you on uh, to help you on that matter. Uh, next slide. Yeah. So, what can you expect today? I talked a little about the content already. Um, Thomas Deinke also talked about that this is an interactive workshop. So. Uh, we are collecting feedback in different forms. Some of the trainers decided to, to kick off their sessions with polling questions in order to better to get to know the needs uh, of the audience and, uh, and their requirements uh, and their background. Uh, for me, I put together a couple of questions uh, which uh, are distilled in a feedback or in a questionnaire that are going to be shared uh, session by session would be interested in your feedback. Um, we have done that in the past. Uh, I see a lot of value in it to get feedback from you guys in order to improve further sessions and maybe uh, as much as that's possible also to, um, to, um, to uh, particular after the first day when we're gonna have the first look at least for the day one feedback to see things that we can improve on the fly. There's a chat window, please use it for ad hoc questions. Uh, Thomas was referring to that already. Uh, and uh, in order to keep the interactivity really at a high level, we also have a Q and A session, a question and answer session at the end of each day. So feel free to stay a little bit longer and ask your, your question. And then uh, definitely we will use also the, uh, the audio feature. So we're gonna uh, speed up the process by talking to each other. Uh, the presenters have been yeah, mentioned already. Uh, so uh, Michael Steyer, Igor Vorobtsov, and Gennady Fedorov are uh, going to join me today. Uh, all the three people might be very no well known for some of you already. Uh, these are uh, technical specialists in their domains. Michael is an HPC specialist, and he also is a specialist on MPI. And he will, though it's not part, uh, not shown at least in the agenda, but he will talk very briefly, pretty much at the end of my introductory, um, about a couple of uh, new things which are coming with Intel MPI in the uh, in the context of uh, um, of One API. 
Uh, Igor is uh, a compiler specialist. So a lot of people who were using, um, I'm digressing, preempting uh, a little bit, uh, one of the new compiler, uh, compilers, the DPC++ compiler. So he's an expert on it and uh, he will lead that session and will of course answer lots of questions uh, related to that. Uh, Gennady will uh, lead the session on, uh, on the interlibrary. So he's an expert on um, on IPP and MKL, the math kernel library that for many of you uh, uh, might be very relevant for numerical uh, simulations. 